Hello, and welcome to Red Cliff Plantation State Historic Site. I'm Ranger Chelsea, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the site today. Red Cliff Plantation is a state park, and we have 369 acres here and four historic structures. Here at Red Cliff, we tell the story of four generations of the Hammond family. James Henry Hammond originally purchased this property in 1855 and four generations of his family lived in the Red Cliff Mansion, which was completed in 1859. We also tell the stories of the enslaved workers here. Generations of enslaved and their descendants lived at Red Cliff in some of the oldest structures on site, the historic slave quarters completed in 1857. We also have just under two miles of walking trails, the historic Magnolia Lane to walk down, and several different exhibitions in our visitor center and in our historic slave quarters. Another beautiful highlight of a visit here at Red Cliff Plantation is a walk down this Magnolia Lane. Planted in 1861 by enslaved laborers, it served as the carriage drive to the main property. These structures located on the backside of Red Cliff Plantation were inhabited by enslaved laborers beginning in the 1850s and continued until emancipation. Even after emancipation came, black families who lived here, such as the Henleys, the Goodwins, and the Wigfalls, continued to labor here at Red Cliff Plantation until the mid-20th century. The last private owner of Red Cliff was John Shaw Billings. Born on May 11, 1898, Billings was the great-grandson of James Henry Hammond, who built Red Cliff. As a result of his family connection, Billings and his family spent extended visits to Redcliffe. After serving in World War I, Billings attended Harvard University and left school just one term short of graduation. He went on to become a political reporter and spent much of his life in New York City. On a trip back to Beach Island, Billings met and later married a local woman named Frederica Wade in 1924. In 1928, he was working for Time Magazine, and by 1936, he was the managing editor at Life Magazine when it transformed from a humor magazine to a weekly photojournalism-focused magazine. Upon his retirement in 1954, Billings had risen through the ranks to become the editorial director for all of the Time, Inc. publications. When Billings' aunt, Julia Hammond Richards, died in March of 1935, John Shaw Billings and his wife, Frederica, purchased the Red Cliff property. Over the next three decades, they spent a significant portion of their personal fortune to renovate the home. Billings also put his photojournalism skills to use by documenting the history of the land, buildings, and people of Red Cliff. His photographic archive can be viewed online at www.scmemory.org. After the passing of his wife and the loss of their only child, Billings bequeathed Red Cliff and its 369 acres to the state of South Carolina. Upon his death on August 25, 1975, the property transferred to the South Carolina State Park System. John Shaw Billings and his wife, Frederica, were buried near their former home in the Hammond Family Cemetery. Red Cliff is located just off of Highway 278, and currently we have very limited tours due to COVID policies. Right now, we offer tours from Thursday through Sunday at 11 a.m. only, and those are $5 a person. Feel free to call the park in advance to reserve a spot at 803-827-1473. For more information, visit our website, southcarolinaparks.com slash redcliffe. We also have several educational videos on the South Carolina State Parks YouTube page and Facebook page.